When it comes to these principles of international law, we see paradox in the Nile Basin. Ethiopia, an upper repairing country that contributes 85% of the flow to the Nile, and the other eight source countries seek cooperation based on international law. Egypt, the lower repairing country that contributes no flow to the resource, relentlessly works against cooperation and undermines international principles. It advocates for monopoly based on colonial era arrangements, seeks a veto over the water development efforts of the countries that originate the water. Ethiopia will continue pursuing its development on the river Abai on the basis of equitable and reasonable utilization of the resource. It is our hope, through time, Egypt will reorient its colonial-based policy on the Nile and work on integrated development on the basis of equity. Time will also come for Egypt to realize its best interest is intertwined with and best served by cooperation with repairing countries of the basin. More importantly, the old playbook that seeks to secure unfettered flow of the Nile by preoccupying the source countries with conflict and insurgencies will not work. On this basis, Ethiopia calls on Egypt to immediately stop its destabilization efforts in the Horn of Africa. Time to negotiate and find a win-win solution is now. We urge Egypt to choose the path of negotiation and the path of international law. The Cooperative Framework Agreement on the Nile River is entering into force on 13th October 2024. Egypt has the golden opportunity to return to peaceful conduct of its relations with the Nile River repairing states. 